Hey guys, it's Friday. Um, this is going to be a real short one. My wife's coming home, taking her out to the Olive Garden. Uh, and I want to show you what I've done so far. I've been working on uh, Sergeant Masterson. See if we can get some good light on him here. So, that's what I got so far for preliminary. Actually, he's coming out pretty cool. I like it. Very nice. And we'll, we'll go keep working on that. So that's Sergeant Masterson. Uh, didn't do anything with the tank yet, or those guys didn't do anything else. But I have been working on the KGL. Trying to get them, I got the green down, I got all the blue down. Um, so now I need to do white striping and then a little bit more detail. The wood on the rifles, bayonets, and all that neat stuff. Detail on the backpacks. So little bit by little bit we're getting there. It's starting to look good. Um, what else? Uh, I picked up this book here for $6. It's the Road to Baghdad. It's a, um, it was originally 24 and it was on sale, so I picked this up, and, um, it's a wargaming book, Bond Never, for $6, uh, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't leave it there, I had to take it. So this, uh, I guess, these rules are force on force rules, but I suppose you could change it to anything, you could probably change it to, um, Bolt action, I guess. Um, this is Osprey. So it's always got the um, the cool paintings. So it's not too bad at all. Um, Marines, Army, Brits, um, Canadians, and all kinds of neat stuff. So yeah, that's pretty good. Road to Baghdad gives. Force on Force players all the information they need to refight the 2003 Allied invasion of Iraq from deadly little firefights between Iraqi Fadahin. Did I say that right? Fadahin? <laughs> I don't know. And U.S. Special Forces, the armored strikes against Republican Guard positions across the Tigris River. Road to Baghdad offers a wealth of varied scenarios and missions, ob objectives that will challenge the technical abilities of new and experienced war gamers alike. With a wealth of new information to expand force on force, Fahadin. There you go. Okay. Including detailed historical background and orders of battle for U.S., British, and Iraqi forces during the invasion. Road to Baghdad allows players to really get to grips with the experience of war and the opening stages of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Very cool. Six dollars. So, that was a bargain. And then I picked up Another Osprey book, The First Anglo-Sikh War, 1845 to 1846. And, of course, Osprey is always cool with paintings, drawings, maps. Oh, I love the smell of fresh ink. Okay, that was a little weird. <laughs> but uh, this, this is a cool book, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. That's that's cool. Cool. Pretty good painting there, huh? Alright. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's nice. That's cool. Wow. Okay. Very neat. Oh, here we go. That's nice. It's a nice painting. Wow. I honestly don't know anything about this period. And that's why I grabbed this book. First Anglo-Sikh War was a result of escalating tensions between the Sikh Empire and the British East India Company in the Punjab 
region of India in the mid-19th century. Political machinations were at the heart of the conflict, with Sikh rulers fearing the growing power of their own army, while several prominent Sikh generals actually actively collaborated with the East India Company. Nonetheless, the British faced a disciplined opponent, trained along European lines, with fielded armies numbering in the tens of thousands. This gloriously illustrated study tells the story of one of the major colonial conflicts of the 19th century. As the East India Company attempted to wrest control of the Punjab region from the Sikh Empire, uh, riven by infighting and explores a number of closely contested and costly battles, including Makdai, Farazasha, Aliwal, and Sobran. Hmm, cool. I know I butchered a couple of those names, but so be it. I'm a boy from New England. What can I tell you? Especially Massachusetts. We don't talk right anyways. So, hey. All right, guys. So, KGL's not looking too bad. We're getting there. I'm actually getting motivated. And just seeing it starting to come to fruition is motivating the shit out of me. So that's cool. All right. Oh, and let me show you what I picked up. I picked up all these Washington Army boxes and some Brits World War II infantry. They still had three boxes, but I got all of these, the old FX boxes that I got for uh, five dollars each. So that was pretty neat. So now I look at them all. Woo, all right. I'm a glutton for punishment. You can never go wrong with old FX stuff. That's what I always say. All right, guys. Um, that's it. Um, sorry I didn't do the comic books yet. I know I have to do them. There's quite a lot that I have to uh, get ready. But uh, I like this thing. This thing's coming out pretty cool. We'll see. Still got a lot more work to do, but it's coming out. And here's, here's the... Here's the um, ah! All right. That was... There's the bag. Canteen. And the backpack. So, it's going to look pretty good. I like it. Thanks, Phil. Awesome. Appreciate it. And I got to get that M10 done. And I got to start on some uh this German stuff. And... Um, I just, I just bought, um, from, uh, Warlord Games, Strontium Dog. They've got those miniatures and some rules out, so I just ordered that. I got the, the starter kit and the, um, agents, so I'm going to check that out and see that, see how that goes. I always loved the, uh, the British comic book, uh, 2000 AD, Judge Dredd, Rogue, uh, Rogue Trooper, Strunt, Strontium Dog, and, uh, oh, it was, oh, it was... Mm, bounty hunter, not Strontium Strunt Dog is a bounty. I, I I forget the guy's name. I'll figure it out probably when I end this. Uh, it's not Sable. It's something I, I forget what it is. But uh, it is what it is. But I love the I, I love those comic books. I used to get them all the time. Uh, Judge Anderson, Judge Dredd, 2000 AD. So that was pretty cool. All right, guys, that's very quick. And uh, be good to each other. Happy war gaming, And hopefully I can get my act together for the comic books. And we'll see. Because I picked up some really cool DC war books. As well as some new stuff. But uh, we'll see. Hang loose. Take care. Be good to each other. Ciao.